Hi Deepa, how are you? I am good, thank you. Jen, I have just returned from my friend's house. We were browsing and playing games on her iPad. It is very small and easy to carry. I wish I had an iPad too. My father has a laptop and my mother uses a desktop computer. Jen, why do these computers come in different sizes? There are computers that cover more space. I will tell you the different types of computers. At the end of this unit, you will be able to classify the computers by its size. Explain the different kinds of input and output devices. Identify the different kinds of computer languages. Computers are classified into five groups based on its size. They are mobile computers, microcomputers, mini computers, mainframes, supercomputers. Click each computer to know more about it. Among all the computers, mobile computers are the smallest. It is very easy to carry them around. Laptop, smartphones, tablets, and portable media players are mobile computers. Desktop computers are microcomputers. These are also called as personal computers or PCs. Schools, offices, and colleges frequently use microcomputers. The microcomputers are small computers and only one person can use at a time. Nowadays, many computers are not in use. Microcomputers have replaced many computers. Many computers are bigger compared to microcomputers. Examples of many computers include CDS 160A, DEC BDP, and SDS 92. Mainframes are multi user computers. They perform bulk data processing in large organizations. They are large and expensive computers. Examples of mainframes are IBM Enterprise and Unisys Clearpath. A group of computers called as supercomputers are very powerful in their performance. They are the biggest and the most powerful. They cover a space as big as a room. Governments and industries use them for numeric calculations, such as weather forecasting. Supercomputers consist of two main components, that is, hardware and software. Cray-1 is a supercomputer. Let us see what hardware is. Hardware is the physical part of a computer. Input and output devices, storage devices, and the central processing unit are examples of hardware. Let's learn about some of the input devices of a computer. Some examples of input devices are barcode reader, magnetic ink character reader, optical character reader, optical mark reader, and card reader. Click each input device. To learn more about it. Have you seen barcodes on the products in departmental stores? A cashier in bill counter uses the barcode reader to scan the barcode on the purchased item. Then, the price will show on the computer. Did you know? QR codes are a new style of square barcode that can store data. Smartphones can scan and read QR codes.
Magnetic ink contains magnetic particles. A magnetic ink character reader can identify this magnetic ink. This technique is called magnetic ink character recognition or MIC. MIC technique is used in all banks. Usually, checks have the check number, bank code, and branch code printed in magnetic ink. Banks use MIC technique to scan the magnetic ink characters in checks and sorting out in city wise or branch wise. Let us next look at an optical character reader. An optical character reader scans the normal printed or handwritten text and produces a digital image of the text. An optical character recognition software, or OCRS, converts the digital image into character codes or editable text processed by a computer. Do you know, nowadays, the competitive exams are conducted using optical mark answer sheet? Students need to darken the correct circle with a dark pencil or ink in their answer sheet. An optical mark reader reads the darkened circles and identifies the correct or incorrect answers. This technology is called optical mark recognition, OMR. Have you ever seen that the shopkeeper swipes the credit card in a machine? Do you know what machine is that? That machine is called magnetic card reader. All credit cards will have a magnetic strip which stores the information about the card and customer details. The magnetic card reader reads the information on the magnetic strip when it is swiped. Smart card reader is also a type of card reader. Smart card contains a small chip which can store more data than magnetic strip. Smart card reader reads the information on the smart card. For example, petrol companies and departmental stores use smart cards to keep track of customers' shopping history. Let us now look at some of the output devices that help users to get information from the computer. Liquid crystal display or LCD projectors, braille printers and plotters are some of the output devices. Click each device to learn more about it. The LCD projectors project the movies or presentations from the computer onto a large screen. Organizations use LCD projectors to display presentations during meetings and conferences. Do you know the blind people can also read the text? They use Braille alphabets to read the texts. Braille alphabets are the raised dots which can be read by touch. The raised dots can be printed using Braille printer. The Braille printer works along with a software to translate a computer file into Braille printouts in the form of raised dots. Plotter is a device that prints high quality graphics, charts, tables, and diagrams on paper or polyester film by using ink pens or ink jets. There are four types of plotters drum plotters, micrographic plotters, ink jet plotters, flatbed plotters. Plotters are used in computer-aided design, or CAD, 
and computer-aided manufacturing, or GAN, to print the plans, for houses, and machinery. Along with the hardware, a computer also requires software, to perform tasks. Software, is a set of computer programs, that provides instructions, to the computer, to perform a particular task. Microsoft Word, Paint, Tux Paint, are some examples of software. We can classify software into, system software, and application software. Let's learn more about these software. System software, is a program, that controls, and operates the computer system. System software is classified into, operating systems, compiler, assembler, interpreter and drivers. Click each system software, to know more about it. Operating system, is the brain of the computer. It passes the signals, from the CPU, to the various parts of a computer. Windows, Android, Linux, are some of the popular operating systems. A compiler translates, high-level computer language program, to machine language program. This translated program is called, the object program, or object code, that is saved permanently for future use. Every minute, it reports program errors to the user. An assembler translates, an assembly language program, into a machine language program. Computers have an interpreter, that translates, one statement of a high level program, into machine code, and executes it. It repeats the same, for the next statement, but, does not save the object code. A driver is a computer program, that interacts with, other hardware devices, such as, printer, and pen drive. Printers, and pen drives will not work, if there is no driver in the system. Let's discuss about, application software. Application software helps users, to perform useful tasks. With the help of application software, we can do work, easier, and faster. It is classified into, two categories, packages, utilities. Click each system software, to know more about it. A package, is a set of software programs, designed to do, particular kind of work. It includes, Microsoft Office, database management systems, accounting packages. Utilities are the backbone of a computer. Utilities, do maintenance work, on the system, or, on system components. Some of the utilities are, backup software, like, Amanda, and Dropbox. Antivirus software, like, McAfee, AVG, or Norton. Disk defragmenters. Disk compression utilities. Do you know, how the software programs are developed? Computer languages, or programming languages, help in writing, and developing software programs for the computer. It can be classified into, low-level, and high-level languages. Click, each button to learn more. Low-level languages, are machine-dependent. Code written for one machine, might not work for the other. There are two kinds of low-level languages, machine and assembly languages. Machine language is the language, that the computer executes, 
directly without translation. In machine language, all instructions are written in the form of zeros and ones. So, a program written in machine language runs very fast. Assembly language was the first computer language that uses letters of the English alphabet. Each instruction tells the computer where the data is and what to do with it. High-level languages use English and mathematical symbols to make the computer programming simpler. High-level language programs cannot run directly on the computer, and they are machine independent. They can run on different types of computers without change. Some examples are BASIC, C, C++, Java, and so on. Shall we summarize what we learned now? Yes, Jen. Computers are classified into five based on its size. They are mobile computers, microcomputers, mini computers, mainframes, and supercomputers. Computer hardware is divided into input and output devices. Computer software can be classified into system software and application software. Computer languages are classified into low-level and high-level languages. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.